Hello and good evening, everyone. I am glad that so many people are able to join us this evening to learn about all of the opportunities California has for homeowners and those who wish to become homeowners. I am Sydney Kamlogger. I am the state senator for the 30th Senate District in Los Angeles, and I am so excited about the information that we are going to receive tonight. We know that property owners have faced unique challenges uh, throughout the ongoing COVID crisis. We know that one in 11 California homeowners struggle to pay their mortgage. And by the end of 2021, 13,400 California homeowners were in some stage of the foreclosure process. And almost half of those were in the counties of Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Bernardino. As we navigate our way out of this pandemic, we want to make sure that people are on strong footing and not falling behind on their payments. And this program can help, I am sure of it. No pressure, but I am sure of it. There is a billion dollars in relief funding available to California homeowners who have fallen behind on their housing payments. We've also seen skyrocketing housing costs, which create barriers for the first time home buyers who are trying to make their way into the market. And there are assistance programs designed to help them as well. So we need to view the state as a trusted partner. That is certainly how I see my role. In turn, they're working in our communities with trusted partners to ensure these programs are accessible to each and every one of us. So that's why I'm so happy to be hosting this outreach event to ensure that my constituents are aware of what help is out there. So I would now like to introduce Executive Director of the Housing Finance Authority, Ms. Tina Johnson Hall. I have to tell you, I had the pleasure of meeting Ms. Johnson Hall as she came through the Senate confirmation process. California Housing Finance Authority, better known as Cal HFA, is an independent California state agency within the California Department of Housing and Community Development that makes low rate housing loans through the sale of taxable and tax exempt bonds. So the state is so lucky to have Ms. Johnson Hall at its helm as she has both public and private sector experience securing housing investments and development. So with that, I would like to pass it over to Ms. Johnson Hall so that she and her team can begin this presentation. Well, thank you very much, Senator, for inviting Cal the California Housing Fi Finance Agency to this event. We're so proud to be here. Um, as you know, this is my hometown, my, my people that I'm speaking to tonight, folks that I, hopefully folks that I grew up with and folks that I have in, within a city in an area that I have loved for all most of my life. So I wanna start by giving a huge thank you to everyone for coming tonight. And a special thank you to Senator Kamlaga for organizing this event and for being a hard working champion for the, the communities of Los Angeles, uh, Culver City, Inglewood and others that are represented here tonight. As you've heard, my name is Tina Johnson Hall and I am the executive director for the California Housing Finance Agency, also known as CalHFA. We are a state agency and for over 45 years, we have been providing assistance to Californians so that they can buy their first home. Now, while home buyer assistance is one of our key activities, we also have other programs, including administering the California Mortgage Relief Program that Senator Kamlager referred to just a moment ago. One of the many ways that the Senator and I are in total agreement is just how much of an impact stable housing makes on quality of life. And I think that this is something that we all can agree on. So that is why I am thrilled to be here to tell you about this program that can help struggling California homeowners get caught up on housing payments they missed due to the pandemic. Now, some of you are probably, you probably know about the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, which is a COVID relief bill from the federal government. When crafting that bill, federal lawmakers such as 
Councilwoman Maxine Waters recognized the dire need for homeowner assistance. And she set aside a large fund for that purpose, including, as the Senator mentioned, $1 billion for California. That means that our state has 10% of the country's total allocation. And I think that that speaks not only to the incredible need in California, but also how much housing prices have skyrocketed here. Through this program, eligible California households can get one-time grants for up to $80,000. Now the program has no fees, there are no liens, and the grants do not need to be paid back. These are true grants that will go directly to the homeowner's mortgage servicer to fully pay off past due payments and give them a fresh start. We all know that a home is much more than simply the physical place that we live. It's security, it's peace of mind. It is our nest egg. And for many Californians, it is their dream that has come true. So for those of you who have lost wages, lost jobs, or even faced the tragedy of a lost loved one, we're here to help. And we're here to help you keep your home. There's no deadline to apply, but of course we encourage people to do it as soon as possible. Some of you may not yet be homeowners, but we encourage you to tell your friends and family about this great program. Spread the word, help us tell this story. And Calachafe actually has programs that can help for those who don't own a home. We have programs to help you buy a home, including a down payment assistance program that last year helped 7,600 California families achieve the dream of home ownership. That was just last year. In addition to that main program, our forgivable equity builder loan can help lower income home buyers build equity. And we also offer a program where homeowners can get grants to build accessory dwelling units. So I'm glad to stop here. I'm gonna let the program experts come on and give you all the details about how, you can, how we can help you. Whether you are a current homeowner or looking to become one, we got something for you. Get out your pens and papers, your notes. This is gonna be a great session. So let me start by introducing you to Rebecca Franklin. Rebecca, take it away. Thank you, Tina. Hi, I'm Rebecca Franklin. I get the honor of serving as the president of the Cal HFA Homeowner Relief Corporation. I'm here today to talk about the wonderful program that we've been talking about thus far, giving you a little bit more details about the program itself, who's eligible, and how you can get involved in helping us spread the word. The Mortgage Relief Program is a program for Californians, as Ms. Johnson Hall said, who maybe were hit financially by the pandemic and have missed mortgage payments. So if you were affected by the, we were all affected by the pandemic, but specifically people who are affected economically, and then, you know, that resulted in missed mortgage payments, this program is for you. We have just over a billion dollars of federal funds to distribute to California homeowners. We're doing that through grants. Grants are not paid back. These aren't loans. These aren't liens. These are grants up to $80,000 per household. The grants are distributed, as Ms. Johnson Hall said, on a first come, first serve basis. This program is one of the many programs offered through the state and federal governmental entities that support us. And a larger part of specifically our state's housing is key initiative. Through this program, we're looking to, we're hoping to serve two, 20 to 30,000 homes in this state. So who's eligible specifically for this program? Applicants must meet all of the following criteria. First and foremost, there is an income eligibility requirement based on your area median income. And don't worry if you don't know what that term was, I have a lot more information to share with you later on. Secondly, you must own and occupy a single family home, condo, or permanently affixed manufactured home in this state, in the state of California. You also must be behind at least two mortgage payments 
So two payments before when we launched the program in December of 2021. And you must attest that you faced a pandemic related financial hardship after January 21st, 2020. So what is area median income? To put it kind of simply, it's just the average income of your county. And that is a table that is created by our federal partners HUD. So here's some examples across the state. It does vary county by county. It's also determined on how many people are in your household. So you put in your county and your household and that will give you the average income. So for homeowners who are at or below that amount, you are eligible for this program. If you want to specifically see if you, what your county's area median income is, you can go to our website, camortgagerelief.org, and put into the AMI calculator. Like I said, all you need to know is what county the home resides in and how many people are in your household. And that will give you the area median income. So how does the program work? In essentially, it go, you go to our website, camortgagerelief.org, or if you have questions, you can also call our contact center at 888-840. 2594 and they can also assist you so when I say we're going on a website if you feel uncomfortable or you want some more assistance and guidance our contact center is here to help you at all times. So what you would essentially do is go onto our website and apply and it's a very simple process once you start your application, you have 30 days to finish it, so maybe you want to go see what the application entails come back and do that you have 30 days. If you have all of your information, we do require some very easily, readily accessible documentation, such as pay stubs, bank statements, a utility bill, then you can apply. It, you should be able to complete the entire application in 30 minutes. Again, we're here to help you and support you through this process. We know the pandemic hit everyone really hard and it's just been a rough few years. So don't feel discouraged if the application, if you need help, you have questions, please reach out to us because we are here to support you. Once you do submit that application, we do have a team of eligibility specialists that will work with you in reviewing your application. Sometimes there are certain doc extra documents that are needed, such as if you are in bankruptcy or for other specific circumstances. But again, we will be here to help you and guide you and walk you through the process. If you are eligible and we approve the application, then, then the money will be sent directly to your servicer. Your servicer will then apply the funds to your account and you are all caught up. It's pretty simple and it's very uh, easy to do. If again, if you have questions, we do encourage you to engage with the contact center, engage with the program or email us at info at camortgagerelief.org. We're here to help you. No questions too small and every circumstance is special and we wanna make sure that we're helping you throughout that process. Maybe you don't have a traditional mortgage and you have a reverse mortgage. These are also eligible for this program. So say you have a reverse mortgage and you fell behind on your property tax or you had forced placed insurance. This program is also for you. And we encourage for you to apply and to engage with us. If you have a reverse mortgage and you owe any money such as property taxes and forced placed insurance, we really would want to encourage you to reach out to the program and connect with us and see if you're eligible. Again, it's very easy to apply. You visit our website and you click the apply now button button at the top right corner. Once you pick, click that button, you'll be sent to a very simple questionnaire. The questionnaire helps you just identify how we can best assist you and make sure that you're eligible for this program. As I said, the documents required are very easily accessible documents such as your mortgage statement, your bank statement, your utility bill, and some income documentation. Uh, if you have questions about the documentation or need assistance, I do really want to encourage people to engage with the program in our contact center. We not only have technical support, but we also have the programmatic level support. So maybe you have questions about what documents, where to uh, upload them, we're all here to help you. We are here to help you. So maybe you have a specific circumstance that you felt like you want a little bit more guidance on. 
So you can call our contact center, you can email us, but maybe you also want to talk to a HUD certified housing counselor. That's a free service to Californians as well. And they can work through your specific circumstance. So even if say you maybe don't know if you qualify or not, or you want to know if this is the best program for you, you certainly, we encourage you to connect with a HUD certified mortgage counselor because they can give you the information you need to make the best decision for your circumstance. Every circumstance is different and a little bit nuanced. So we want to make sure that we're getting you the best support you can. And as I said before, this is one of many programs that our federal partners and our state partners have given to Californians to help with the economic impact of the pandemic. It's also important to our program that we talk about fraud and scams. Unfortunately, there are people out here who may take advantage of the situation and try to misrepresent what this program is or rep them, represent themselves as this program. It's important for Californians to know this program is free. If anyone's asking you for an application fee or some sort of offering you a product in which you would have to pay them or pay it back, that is not the California Mortgage Relief Program. As I said in the beginning, this is a grant. You don't have to pay it back. We're not ever going to ask for it back. So we wanna make sure that people are aware of fraud and scams. And if you feel like you are working with someone who maybe is misrepresenting the program or is a fraud or scammer, I encourage you also to visit our website where you have the options to report that person, that entity, or read up more on other types of ways to prevent fraud and scam. If you, maybe this program isn't for you, I would encourage two things. One, connect with a HUD certified housing counselor. If you were affected and you're a homeowner in this state, you can get free counseling and we really think that you should be able to avail yourselves of all of the options. You also can visit our website, samortgagerelief.org slash help. And we have a list of other offerings for Californians that were affected. Maybe you need help with utilities or some other program. You're not qualified for this program. You're not a homeowner. There are other resources out there. It's not your fault that the pandemic happened. And it's not your fault that you were affected. We were all affected. And we want to make sure that people understand that they're not alone and that we're here to help. And if we can connect you to resources that can help you. We feel like that is our job as well. I also encourage if you realize if you revisit our website and you say, I don't know if this is for me or this, I do not qualify. We are committed in this program to constantly be making sure that we and our program serve Californians the best way we can. So we're constantly monitoring the market conditions and what Californians are doing and what's going on. And so sometimes the program may shift or adjust to meet that market need and demand. So if you say don't meet the AMI or something like that, I would encourage you to continue to check back to see if maybe the program has made some changes. If you don't own a home or you don't feel like this is for you or you were able to catch up on your mortgage payments or never miss one at all, you can also help your neighbors, your neighborhood, your family, your friends that reside in the state by spreading the word. We have a lot of information on our website. We are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and we tweet with the hashtag get caught up and share this with your friends, your family, your community. I think sometimes when people are faced with these kinds of situations, you feel isolated, you feel alone, you feel like you're the only one going through this and that's just not what's happening. We all were affected and we all are going through our own struggles related to the pandemic. So helping your own community by spreading the word, downloading these materials, com communicating with people that you may think are a good fit for this program will also help the fellow Californians around you. If you have questions, as I said many times, we encourage you to visit our website. It's a resource. It has a lot of information. You can start your application there. You can call our contact center, 888-840-2594 or email us at info at cmortgagerelief.org. We're here to help you. We're here to get you the information you need and really you know, help you get caught up. Thank you. I'm going to turn it over to Molly from Cal HFA at this point. Thank you, Rebecca. Get everything up here and ready to go. All right. 
Um, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, everyone. So glad you guys are here tuning in with us tonight. Um, and I'm so happy to be here to help share these amazing California programs. Um, you've heard from her, Rebecca how to save your home and, and how to get that type of relief. Now I get the honor of sharing the other side of the agency that can help you buy your first home. And if you're a current homeowner and you are thinking about building an accessory dwelling unit or an additional unit on your property grounds that you own and occupy, well, I have some great information for you as well. So as we mentioned at the top of the hour, we um, get to share a variety of types of assistance that the California Housing Finance Agency can offer um, to uh, all of you tuning in today and to all Californians. So first I'd like to share real quick what it's about for us, our vision and our mission. We are trying to make sure that Californians can uh, afford and that they can live in home, sorry, that they can live in homes that they afford and stay in homes that they can afford. We always like to throw that little tagline out there as well. We're always trying to find different ways to invest in diverse communities. So we're so grateful for this outreach event and the opportunity to speak with you all here today. So let's get down to it. Let's talk about these programs. So Cal HFA and our single family division, we have down payment and closing cost assistance program that work with standard mortgages. This is super important because it's easier for you to get access to these types of programs. They work with FHA loans, conventional loans, VA loans, or USDA loans. So pretty much any type of mainstream product that is out there to be able to finance your first home, you can take that financing mechanism and then use a Cal HFA down payment or closing cost assistance program to help bridge that gap, to help you qualify. Maybe it helps you qualify for more. Maybe you're ready to go. Maybe your, your debts are under control. Your credit is decent. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so you know, but decent credit um, you're ready to go, but you just don't have that chunk of money that it takes to close on your first home. That is one of the biggest obstacles in California today, and that's where we can come in and help. Um, we have programs with built-in closing cost assistance, so you, you might not even know that, yeah, you have to have down payment, but guess what? You have to have closing costs, money to pay for your closing costs as well. Sometimes, that is a, um, is a tough realization when you start to talk to a lender about purchasing your first home. But guess what? We've already thought about it for you. So there's help either way with down payment and closing costs. Um, the ZIP program, I realize I put my acronym up there, but I didn't tell you what ZIP stands for. And that's the best part. It, ZIP stands for the Zero Interest Program. This is a down payment or sorry, closing cost assistance program that works with the standard FHA or conventional first mortgage. So you're still gonna have that first mortgage, right? You're still gonna make your monthly mortgage payment on the first mortgage, but we are going to be able to affordably lend you help with your closing costs. And I say affordably, it is a loan. So this isn't one of the grants like we're talking about on the mortgage relief program, um, but it is an affordable loan in that it's a zero interest rate. So if your closing costs add up to 3%, and it really can sometimes add up to 3 or 4%, then we can provide assistance at a zero interest rate for 2 or 3% of it. So you might have to come in with a little bit of money to be able to close that deal, but you're going to get help with the closing costs. Now, these payments are all deferred, so you don't have to calculate or you don't have to make a monthly payment on the closing cost piece of the loan. Your lender doesn't have to calculate a payment into your debt to income ratio. It will not negatively affect the way you qualify for the mortgage. It just helps your cash into the transaction. So all those payments are deferred. Basically, it's giving, allowing you an opportunity to get into this current market, right? So that so that you can get in. Sometimes we see families who are, a lot of times actually, we see families who, this is the first generation that they've had home ownership in their fan families. This is a great way to not have to keep, keep 
uh, saving that money. You don't have to keep, it's like this giant um, hamster wheel. Sorry, it's a really bad um, analogy, but it's a giant hamster wheel because you're working hard, you're, you're, you're managing your credit, you're trying to pay off your debt, and you're working hard, but the cost of living in Cali Chefe, in sorry, in California is so expensive, it's hard to save money away. Well, you can stop doing that. You can get in, you can get in now. You can be able to get into this market and start to grow that wealth for your family. And that's what we're here to try to help on. It also helps. We have another program that's for down, pay, down payment or closing costs. It could actually be used for either, and that can be used with your VA and USDA loans. Um, the reason that it's not offered for the closing cost assistance as well is that VA for all of our veterans out there, thank you so much for your service. Um, the veterans have a hundred percent product that, that finances hundred percent of the sales price of the property. And so then you can use my home for the closing costs and you don't need the zip. So that's why it's, and USDA is a rural program. It's been around for years and years, but a lot of people don't know it's out there. And this would only be available in the more rural areas. So like Culver City, it probably won't work. And some of the those larger metropolis, metropolitan sorry, um, areas, it might not work. But FHA works all day long, conventional. And then, of course, the VA loans, um, our programs can also work with. So those programs that I shared with you are a little bit of assistance. And I'm going to talk about, oh, I messed up on my slide order. I'm sorry. Let's talk about my home first because it goes better together. So my home and the ZIP program that I just shared with you can go together. So on an FHA loan, we can lend 3.5% of the sales price. That will cover your down payment, your minimum down payment on an FHA loan. On conventional VA and USDA, it's 3%. It's a little bit lower, but this can still cover your minimum down payment. Now, there is an interest rate on this one. It's 1% simple interest. So just to give you an idea of how that, what that actually means, if you borrowed $10,000 for your My Home to cover your down payment, then you would only pay back, let's say $15,000. That's probably a little bit more realistic. If you borrowed $15,000, your interest on this would accrue at $150 a year. This is what we mean by affordable, okay? So at, at $150 a year, you can afford that interest, right? Now, with that said, you don't have to make payments. It's the same as what I was talking about on the other loan. You don't have to make payments. And um, it would be due and payable when you refinance, if you sell the house, if you um, decide to rent it out down the road and you're no longer occupying it, then you would have to pay it back. Um, but until that point, you don't have to make monthly payments. So you can get, get in, get used to making that payment and start establishing that real estate investment for your family. These two programs are for moderate income level programs. So when we say income limits for the single family side of these programs, I don't want you to get discouraged. Um, a lot of people hear that there's income limits and they think that it's super restrictive. Um, Cali, we are very proud at Cali Chefe that, that we have been able to make this a very viable program that works with California incomes. So the income limit for this just might surprise you. It's actually uh, I looked it up. It's 150, sorry, I had to peek at my note, $158,000 annually for LA County. So I think most of you are, are from that area. So um, that would be for LA County. So it is a very generous income limit and you can qualify for a home underneath that limit. Okay. So that's a great way to utilize our signature product line with the My Home Assistance Program and the ZIP. Um, program. And those can be used together. So you get a little bit for your down payment and a little bit for your closing costs. Okay. They can be used together. So now though, I want to take a minute and talk about a brand new program that Cali Chefe just came out with in April. It's called our Forgivable Equity Builder Loan. I have that um, LI up there to remind me to tell you it is for a lower income borrower. For it. So it's low income, but 
this program has lots more bells and whistles than the ones I shared with you before. Um, it is for a low income borrower, which for LA County right now is under $68,800 uh, a year. Okay, so I know the first one was much more generous. This one is um, basically it's it's better financing. It's more affordable. But if you're under that 68 and trying to buy a house in California, you need all the help you can get. So that's why we came up with this forgivable equity builder. It's a 10 percent. So a whole 10 percent. So I was talking about 2 percent and 3 percent earlier. This is 10 percent all together that you can use for your down payment or your closing costs. Yes, you're gonna use it with a CalHFA first mortgage. You have to be a first time home buyer as with the other products that I've mentioned here today. Um, and the other very cool thing about the Forgivable Equity Builder is that we get to forgive the amount of the loan. It is a loan at first, but it does forgive at 20% per year. Um, as you stay in the property and you uh, don't refinance. So if you, as you stay and you continue to occupy that property, that amount is forgiven over time. Please keep in mind that there could be tax um, ramifications. Um, as we forgive that 20% every year, you will receive a 1099. So you'll definitely want to talk to a tax preparer or um, look up the tax guidelines to see how that may or may not affect you and your family. Um, but you don't have to pay back the 20% every year. If you decided to sell the house in three years, that's fine. You'll have 40% forgiveness and then you'll just owe the next 60%. So it does go on at that 20% interval. It's very cool that you would not have to pay even a portion, even if you got it and didn't have to pay back a portion, that would be very cool. So we are looking at um, Fannie Mae's, you guys have all probably heard that term, Fannie Mae's, um, we are looking at their home ready lookup tool in order to determine what those limits, but I looked it up before I got on with you today, and it is 68.8, so keep that, keep that in mind. Um, I talked to you about my home. So here is another very cool program that is very new to Cal HFA. So this one, you kind of have to um, set aside what I was talking about before, because all of my information was about first time home buyers, right? And getting that down payment and closing cost assistance. But just in case you're tuned in today and you are thinking about building or you are looking for financing to build an accessory dwelling unit, it's um, the industry uses accessory dwelling unit. We call it an ADU because, you know, we're at Cal HFA and we love an acronym, right? So everything's an acronym with what we do. But um, this accessory dwelling unit is basically a little house on your property. Um, so if you are interested in doing that and you are obtaining a construction or um, renovation type loan. It does have to be through one of the Cal HFA approved lenders that you're getting this. It has to have a managed construction escrow. Um, that's how we um, monitor that the ADU is going to get built, right? So as you go through, there's draws that are taken at different phases in the build. And that's as you get the money out of, out of the actual escrow that they hold that money in there for you. But the cool part about this program is it's a grant. So I'm sorry, I kind of messed you up, right? We talked about grants when it comes to the, um, the mortgage relief program, and then I switched to loans, but affordable loans, and then I'm going to switch end on a high note, and I'm going to talk about grants again. So this is a true grant. It um, is not um, paid back. You don't have to pay it back. Um, and we, you can use it to offset your pre-development costs. So these are soft costs like permits impact fees, design, architecture, those soft costs um, that usually happen before you actually get to the meat and potatoes and the building, the construction of the actual ADU. Um, you can use, uh, we have, our grant is up to $40,000. What we've been seeing so far is about 200, 200, maybe 250 is kind of the average price um, on a, uh, on a standalone stick built ADU. 
There's all kinds of affordable ways to do this though. Just in case I scared, just scared you with that number. Um, there are manufactured ADUs, ones that are like half way um, prefabbed in factories, they can be much more affordable. You can convert a garage, that's a junior ADU, that's much more affordable. Um, but going using what I know and what I've seen with the program so far, if you were doing um, a project that was $200,000, say, and um, you went to go get your loan, you could get a loan for $160,000. That's the cool part. And then um, so your lender's going to fund into the escrow account the $160,000. We check everything for to get the grant. We put in our $40,000 grant, and then your, your $200,000 project is fully funded. So it's a great way that we can help. Um, it's not going to fix everything, but we can help with some of the inventory issues um, that we all know exist right in um, California and help get some more affordable units built in California. That's what we're trying to do with this program. All right, so they catch owner occupied, just in case I didn't say that out loud. Um, I wanna make sure that I talk about that. So that's really um, a, a high level overview of the programs that Cali HFA offers to help you with down payment closing costs with our accessory dwelling unit or ADU grant program. Um, we are not a lender, so we would encourage you to go to the website. Um, our web address is calhfa.ca.gov. If you're interested in the Forgivable Equity Builder, it's, it's the new shiny object right now. <laughs> it's brand new. So it is the banner across the front of our website. You can click on program details. There's a link in there that's a find a loan officer tool. So if you'd like us to set you up with a loan officer, um, you can get in there, you can search LA County and get the list that's available in LA County um, and reach out to someone, see if they can get you pre-qualified um, for your first home. Um, and that's with the Forgivable Equity Builder or the other product line as well. I also have all of my contact information up there on the slide. If you guys have any um, questions or concerns on the single family side of things, I'm on buying your house. I can't help with the mortgage relief program, but um, I can refer you, but uh, I'm happy to help elsewhere. And so I think I'm throwing it back to Ms. Rebecca for some Q&A. Yes. So we had some questions that were pre-submitted. So um, Molly, I'm going to start with the questions for your programs, and then I'll kind of switch over to the mortgage relief. So the first question that was submitted is, what and how can I get help affected by COVID for my mortgage? I'm behind. Do I qualify for assistance to buy a house? While I'm not a first time home buyer, I lost my house due to recession in 2009. However, my ex-husband was the only borrower on that loan. Prior, I used to own a condo, co-own a property that I sold my interest in 2006. Okay, I think I got most of that. So yeah. I feel like it might have gone one of two ways. So if you are for this question, I hope you're tuned in today. Um, so if you are looking for mortgage relief, you, you heard about the mortgage relief program. If you are affected by COVID and you, um, and you did not, uh, you know, and you need to make up some payments, then you would definitely look at that side. But if you said you're not a first time home buyer, so Cal HFA doesn't have down payment or closing cost assistance, um, for non first time home buyer, but, but, but. Um, definitely reach out to Cal HFA to see if you're eligible, right, for one of the programs or one of our lenders. Hopefully, I kind of answered that question a little bit in the spiel I did, but just in case, um, you may still be eligible. And let me talk for a minute about um, our definition of a first-time homebuyer, because that just in case. So if you have not especially since you threw 2009 out there, if you have not owned and occupied your principal residence in the last three years, you're still a first time home buyer. So check, maybe we can help if you're, so if you're looking to buy a new home um, that, and you are a first time home buyer, we might be able to help. That's great. And I like that there's kind of a restart on first home. Yeah, this time. yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. Um, the second question is, how can the average resident, even with governmental assistance programs, compete in the housing market with the overbidding process taking place on most homes? Yeah, that's tough. And this is, there's no one fix for the market that we're in right now, right? But Cali Chafe can definitely help. Um, you can leverage our down payment assistance, sometimes up to $10,000. Uh, or sorry, 10%, which could be a nice little chunk of change. Um, maybe as a potential borrower, you have some of your own resources. Maybe you did save a little bit of your own money. You can put that together and, and leverage that. It can help with qualifying. Um, in some cases, your MI can be less, your um, interest rate could be less. All those things added up um, can really help. And, and as Ms. Tina said at the top of the hour, um, last fiscal year, we helped over 7,600 um, borrowers and we're still going strong. So uh, the program is viable and we do try to help uh, in any way we can. I think the name of the game is check it out and engage with the programs. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, so the last question I have for you is how to obtain relief for a repayment for a first time home buyer? So we encourage, sorry, phone. Uh, we encourage anyone who needs assistance with whichever lane you're in, you can always reach out to a HUD certified housing counselor. And um, I also, not picking on Tina, but she said, grab a pen. So I hope you all did that because um, I'm going to give you a phone number. Okay. So a HUD certified housing counselor um, can help you in multiple ways. So California has great programs, but we're also not the only ones. There are other, as you said too, Rebecca, there are other resources out there um, for you, you guys. And one of those resources are those HUD certified, oh, sorry, it's a tongue twister, HUD certified housing counselor. So I have a phone number for you, 1-800-569-4288. So I hope you all jotted that down. 1-800, ooh, nice. Somebody even put it in the chat. So 1-800-569-4287. You could definitely reach out to a HUD certified housing counselor. And those are free. Free, awesome. yes, okay. the magic word, free 99, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Molly. I'm gonna also review some of the questions we've got for the mortgage relief program. So the first question I have is, is there assistance available for small mom and pop landlords who cannot rent their units due to repairs needed since the beginning of the pandemic and have been vacant? So unfortunately at this point in time, you do have to live in a single unit owner occupied as your primary residence and the home needs to be in the state of California. So if you're living in a duplex and rent the other side out, or if you have multiple properties at this point, this program is you're not eligible for this mortgage relief program. The next question is what kind of documentation will be um, required and how long will it take to get the money? So as I said prior, the documentation depends on your circumstance. Everyone who does apply, there's our standard documentation. And when creating this program, we really wanted to make sure that the documentation was something that you could easily access and get a hold of quite quickly without a lot of effort. So again, it's mortgage statements, your bank statements, a utility bill, and income documentation. So if you're on unemployment, it would be an unemployment statement, maybe a couple pay stubs, or if you have your tax returns, you can also submit those. Again, it's kind of depend on each circumstance. We're all in different circumstances and we wanna make sure that we're accounting for all of those different circumstances. So just because you know, you know we say those are the standard ones, we may ask for additional documentation, how fast the it takes to get the money. So as I said, we do try to work as quickly as we possible, as quickly as possible. We do try to allow for the homeowner to have time. So if we ask for more documentation, we do give you 30 days to get that documentation back to us. So the quickness is kind of how fast can we get all of the paperwork collected and turned into the servicer. We do work with your servicer as well. We do try to make sure that applications are submitted and funded within a 60 day window. But again, it could be quicker. It could be a little bit longer depending on your specific circumstance. And also the funds again, go to your servicer and they will apply the funds to your account. Any relief wipes away some time on my loan or allows homeowners to declare it on taxes to offset, 
offset the debt. So I'm not a tax professional and I don't try to pretend to be one. And I think it's, I really encourage people to talk to people who know the law and know what's going on about taxes to know if this has any impact into their taxes. So I would just highly encourage if you want to know whether you need to declare it or, you know, you're concerned about your taxes, I would really address those questions with a tax professional who's going to give you the best and most accurate information. This person was asking why they were declined for mortgage assistance because they owed the lender more than $100,000 of unpayment. Un so unfortunately, we are capped at $80,000 for the grant for the assistance. But like Molly said, like I said, there are so many programs out there. We do encourage you if you do are denied for assistance for this specific program, or, you know, if you like don't meet the requirements, like you said, you owe over 100,000 rather over our cap of 80 to talk to a HUD certified housing counselor, they'll be able to direct you to a program that would be better fit for your specific needs. Or you can talk to your servicer or your loan provider and see if they have options as well. But the HUD certified housing counselor also knows about all of the programs that are offered. It says we are a community based organization that's been helping people apply for the program and would like to have direct contact to Cal HFA. So if you are a community based organization, we would love for you to engage in the program. You can do that by emailing us at info at camortgagerelief.org. We do love community based organizations. We think they're vital for this program. We love that they're in the community, that they're a trusted resource and that we really do encourage everyone to reach out to us and see if they can come into our community based organization network that we have formally through this program. This person asked, how many months do you have to be behind? So at this moment, you have to be two payments behind as of December 27th, 2021. As I said before, though, we are constantly monitoring the market conditions and what the needs of Californians are through the program. So if this is something maybe you don't, an eligibility criteria you don't meet now, I would encourage you to continue to check our website to see if anything has changed. If you have not meet the criteria, again, I do urge you to contact that HUD certified housing counselor. It's on our website. You can get to um, a referral through our contact center, or again, Molly had shared that number directly to HUD certified mortgage counselors. Which properties are eligible? Again, a single family home, condo, or permanently affixed manufactured home, which you reside in that has to be in this state. Which zip codes are eligible? All zip codes in the state of California. Everyone's here, as long as you meet the other criteria, we're not looking at specific zip codes. We are looking for um, people that live in their home, that single family home. The application is on our website. Do you have to be in a certain income bracket to apply? Yes, at this moment, you have to be at or below 100% of your area median income. As I said, though, it depends on how many people are in your home and the county that you live in. So I would encourage you to look at the calculator on our website. Maximum relief is $80,000. Do you have to be behind on your mortgage to qualify? Yes, at this point, we are only a mortgage reinstatement program, which means you have to have missed mortgage payments, a past due balance on your mortgage statement. If you accepted a loan modification or a deferment, through kind of the fall maybe of this last year, and you don't have a past due amount on your mortgage, then we are not able to help you through our reinstatement program. Um, looking through more of these questions. How do I get help without using the people living in my household's information? So this is a specific question, and we think it's best for people that have these kind of specific circumstances to contact our contact center or in, uh, email us at info at camortgagerelief.org, that we, we want to make sure that your privacy is a very big concern for us, and we don't want to add, like we don't want to spread any information that is about you as a person that someone else could hear and misrepresent or misuse. So if you do, have you submitted a question tonight and we didn't answer it and it was very specific towards like, you know, your personal situation, then please call our contact center or email us. We want to help you and we want to answer these questions. We also want to make sure that your data and your information is kept private and secure. Um, and it says, 
Will this webinar give some insight to homeowners who have already applied as to when they will receive assistance? So if you've already applied, you should be able to see the status on our online secure portal. If you have a question, please call us at 888-840-2594. And one of our contact center agents can also give you some specific information about the status of your account and maybe what we need to do to move forward. So that's all the questions I have tonight. So I'm gonna turn it back over to the Senator and thank you so much for hosting this wonderful event and helping us get the word out. I just have to say that I have been listening um, and enjoying this information tremendously. I want to give a thank you to Rebecca and to Molly for um, a wealth of information, a wealth of information. And I love how you handled uh, a number of those um, questions. Some of them were delicate, uh, but at the end of the day, this is about government at work as a problem solver, uh, helping folks who are homeowners make sure that they're able to stay in their home, helping folks that are interested in building ADUs to financially be able to do so, and helping those who are interested in becoming first-time homeowners. I also want to give a special thank you to Ms. Johnson Hall for availing these resources and her staff and team to us this evening. All of this information is going to be shared. Uh, it will be on the website, um, as well as we're gonna put it on the social media platforms. I wanna thank all of you all so much for attending this presentation and for your thoughtful questions. I hope that you visit the various websites yourself or for others that are in need and determine if any of these programs can be helpful. I actually made a list of people that I think um, need to have this information. And so I will be sharing it far and wide as well. Once again, I wanna thank the entire CA Mortgage Relief Program and Cal HFA teams for being here tonight and sharing your expertise with us. You have demystified these programs and processes and you have shown us where we can find the money. In the words of Jerry Maguire, the movie Jerry Maguire and Cuba Gooding Jr., show me the money. Well, that is what we did tonight. So as always, please feel free to contact my office with any questions that you may have, 213-745-6656-213-745-6656 or 916-651-4030. And my staff and I are here and we are always available uh, to help you answer any questions or to help you make the right connections. I wanna thank you again for spending your evening with us. Have a very good evening and please stay safe. Thank you. <laughs>